Hey twins, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot and I'm coming to you with a love general tarot reading for the Twin Flames out there. We're going to see what's happening right now on the Twin Flame journey. Um, this is an energy update for those of you guys who are dealing with your twin, okay? So the way I do these readings is I channel messages from the Oracle. I use tarot to clarify as needed. I'm also going to finish off today with the unspoken love messages, okay? So if you want a personal love reading for you and your twin flame, do reach out to me. I do have a website. Um, you can book a video recorded reading or even an Etsy message reading, okay? I have lots of options available for those who need it. All right, so let's jump right in. Let's see what is going on um, for those who are on a two-point journey. What's happening in the energy? Clear, concise, accurate messages. If you enjoy these readings, you want more just like this one, be sure to let me know. All you got to do is like this video, share it, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings for you guys, okay? Um, I also have another channel called Serendipity Tarot where I do love readings for all the zodiac signs on a weekly basis. So let's channel the messages for the twins out there. Okay, road to recovery, okay? So you may feel like you're just not going anywhere, right? You may feel like you've been separation for some time. There's been no change, okay? And it feels like there's been a long journey here. If you look at this card, it feels like you guys have been on this journey for a really long time. It's been challenging. It's been exhausting, okay? I'm feeling like you may feel burdened by this connection. And so Spirit is saying that it is being repaired, okay? You guys are in recovery. There's still work to be done. And it feels like it's primarily from your person. Maybe they took the wrong path and they went off course, okay? It feels like maybe they even chose someone else or something else over the connection. They weren't focused, right? This person was not making you the priority in their life or the family, okay, that you guys had. They weren't making that a priority. And so there's something here about going off course and now there's a course correction, Still working on it. So there's still fireworks. There's still passion. There's still desire here. This energy is telling me that there's still work to be done, but your person is working behind the scenes and what they can do to make that happen. I feel like this energy is telling me your person still has the, the fireworks, the firecracker energy. It's like, I still want this. I still desire it. I'm going to still do what I need to do. Take action wands. Okay, I'm getting the wand energy with this card. Wands is all about action, movement. We also have ready to surrender. So it does feel like your person is ready to like take the next step and part of like growing, part of learning about what this twin flame journey is about is like being open to surrendering, being open to changing your way of doing things, okay? Maybe your person was going about this connection the wrong way. And so with this card, it makes you feel like your person's giving up control. Maybe they tried to have too much control and was holding on to something too tightly, holding on to their pride, their ego, holding on to their feelings and not expressing, okay? You could have dealt with any of those um, any of those issues within the twin flame connection here. And now your person's like, I wanna surrender. I wanna open up. I wanna be vulnerable. I wanna be intimate with you. I wanna feel what it feels like to be in love. And so I feel like your person's looking into the horizon, okay? Your twin is looking at what they can have in the future to come if they were only able to surrender and open up and be open to this journey, okay? Awaiting for this union. So this is confirmation that you're definitely on the twin flame journey, right? There is an idea that you guys, at the end of the road, you guys are gonna come into union. You're gonna come back with each other. You're going to reconcile, right? So the work that you're doing right now, you're doing it for a reason. So that when you do come together, you'll be able to have this happy ever after or at least something like it, right? So waiting for this union. Um, and it feels like, you know, there could be some darkness, right? There could be feeling like you're in the shadows. You're not knowing where your person stands, not knowing how your person feels because you guys have been in the separation for so long. We have, um, we are divine counterparts. So this is definitely a divine connection, more confirmation of the twin flame connection. You know, you could feel like your souls are connected with this card. Even if you're not physically together, your souls are intertwined, right? Maybe you finished each other's sentences. You could be thinking about each other a lot. You know, having a lot of memories of the past. And this could be happening simultaneously. You even could be connecting with your person in the 5D dimension. Your dreams are very vivid and intense, right? 
So there's a lot of connections you guys have and it feels like it's just not, it's not on a physical realm. It's definitely on an energetic level. We also have guilt for past actions and behaviors. So your person could be going through it. They could be really feeling bad and guilty for something they didn't do in the past or something they did they should have done better. There could be a lot of like thinking of, wow, you know, I really messed up. I caused a lot of damage. I caused a lot of hurt. I wish I hadn't done that, right? I wish I can fix it and make it all go away. And maybe there are some things your person wishes that never happened. So there's a lot of heavy emotional baggage here with this card, right? There's guilt for something they could have done. So I really feel like there's a lot of thinking of the past, shoulda, wouldas, and couldas. I even feel like your person is carrying that heavy sorrow, right? There's emotions that come with this card. So there's a lot of um, you know, emotional upset, really feeling unhappy and disappointed in their own actions. Powerless, the struggle, the power struggles real, right? So this is that tug of war your person has with themselves, right? They're telling themselves, I should have done better. I should have felt for this. Um, I want to be the strong person. I want to be the provider. I want to I want to do more, right? Because I want to be the bigger person. I want to keep this all together. And for your person could be feeling like literally they gave up. Maybe they gave up too easy. Maybe they didn't really fight to protect you at all costs, okay? They didn't fight to protect the relationship. And you could definitely be dealing with your divine masculine with this card. There's a very strong divine masculine energy. You know, your divine masculine wants to do the right thing. They want to step up. They want to fight for you because they know that you're worth it resurrection this ain't dead so this is confirmation that your person has not given up behind the scenes you know there's a lot going on there's a lot of movement there's a lot of change and this is like literally the flame is still going right smoke is indicating of like right now it could feel like things are unclear there's illusions you may not know again where your person stands the smoke right is making you blind to what's happening but this is saying that there's work to be done and your person isn't done yet, right? They have, they're not ready to accept this as a failure and completely be done and over with this relationship. So work to be done. Resurrection is like after maybe something appears dead, there's a resurrection. There's something reviving itself. It's coming back to life. And devotion, hopelessly devoted to you. So your person's like, I'm still devoted. I still care. You're still my person. I still love you. Um, I almost feel like maybe they weren't able to show this and that could be something they're working on how to show you that they're devoted they're still loyal so let's see what else we could find messages for my twins out there making plans planning moving forward so your person is strategizing behind the scenes trying to figure out what do i need to do how do i make this better how do i um improve this situation what do i need to do what is the next step i need to take and so there's a lot of strategy figuring out mental energy maybe your person's super logical but they're in their head and trying to piece things together on how they can repair this how they can make it all right and move forward with you overthinking so your person could be definitely in their head overthinking could be an air sign gemini libra Chris. this is telling me your person's just like all over the place right mental energy you may not know what's going on because they're constantly in their head and this has a way of stopping you from taking action. So you may be dealing with someone who's in like this mental imprisonment energy, eight of swords, feeling tied, feeling bound to their thoughts, can't seem to make moves forward because they're constantly in their head. Your person is trying to break away from this because what's happening is that it's causing them unnecessary stress and anxiety. They feel stuck, right? Physically stuck, but it's a mental imprisonment, right? They're mentally stuck feeling, uh, but it's manifesting as a physical thing. So your person is trying to break away from that. We also have manifesting. So yeah, we had the new moon, in, new moon in Aries just yesterday. And so that was the beginning of the new astrological year, right? And so this is an opportunity to manifest. And right now your person is manifesting, bringing something into fruition. Maybe there's a dream, an idea that they can have that beautiful um, light at the end of the tunnel, happiness, right? Um, abundance, coming together, reunion, revival, right? reconciliation there's something they're manifesting and it feels like it's regarding you and them and the twin flame journey and it says cold feeling left out in the cold one-sided so this is that five of pentacles energy in tarot um i do feel like maybe the winter months was very difficult for your person they felt alone maybe they abandoned you and then they felt this feeling of dep deprivation right feeling abandoned 
feeling neglected. But this may be more so on the emotional level. And maybe your person literally is feeling the cold energy now, right? They don't feel loved. They don't feel cared for. They don't feel like they have that person to support them and take care of them. Especially if you are the divine feminine, maybe you're more nurturing. And now they're really feeling the coldness, right? And this was their doing. It says one-sided. So your person gave you very little. They expected that you would continue to give you uh, give them your love, your loyalty, your time, your energy. And you may have recognized that, no, that's not what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to give you back what you give me. And so something here could have definitely been unbalanced and one-sided. And so I feel like you gave your person a dose of their own medicine. And now they're looking at the situation and it's like, oh my gosh, I didn't expect you to pull back. I didn't expect you to give up on me. I didn't expect you to, you know, push back and fight for yourself. So we have conflict, confused on how to move forward, arguments, disagreements. So I almost feel like for some of you, they ran away because they don't want to fight anymore. But this is what they created, right? They created drama. There was a lot of friction. Maybe this person was just very difficult, had a very different way of viewing things, viewing pers different perspectives on life, on partnerships, on what commitment means. And so there was a lot of arguing, a lot of friction and conflict and tension between you two. And I almost feel like your person was... I'm getting non-confrontational. For some of you guys, they didn't want to have that friction. They don't want to argue things out. They don't want to talk about it. They avoided you. They ran away. Okay, so this is someone that didn't want to deal with these problems. And so that could be something they're thinking about. I shouldn't have done that because I pushed my person away. I pushed the person who I cared about the most away. It's safe for you to love, take action, leap of faith, and safe. So your person is maybe questioning their safety. This is someone that may um, bottle up their feelings and emotions. We have a bottle because they don't feel like it's safe to express. This is someone that's literally afraid to express how they feel because of rejection, because of feeling like, you know, they won't get back what they put out. This is someone that could have gone through some kind of really hurt or traumatic uh, past relationship. And so they're afraid. This is someone who's afraid to love. They may feel it's not safe to love. And so as soon as you got you guys got really close, it feels like your person uh, took a step back, okay? They reneged. They took back their offer. They pushed you away. So something like that could have happened here because your person was afraid to take that next step and risk in love. It was too big of a risk for them. So now they want a fresh start, a new beginning. We have a leap of faith starting over, full energy. So now we have like a new beginning, um, leap of faith. I'm getting Aries in particular. New moon and Aries could have kickstarted a new beginning, a new chapter for you and your person. They may have a new frame of mind, way of thinking about love, and they want to experience it. They want to experience love. So they may want to start over. Um, let's see if we get an apology though. Friendship. So it's like your person wants to work their way back up. So this is someone that may try to friend you, okay, befriend you. They may try to get more close to you. Um, it says a friendly relationship. So I almost feel like your person may try to initiate some kind of casual um, interaction with you. They may try to reach out and say, hey, do you want to hang out? I almost feel like they're not going to jump into a relationship or they're not going to like let their feelings be known because that's, you know, that would be a lot for them. But I definitely feel like there's some kind of slow movement toward getting back to that level. And it may start off as a friendship, okay? So they may want to ask you out, let's hang out, let's go get a drink, let's go get coffee, something like that, okay? All right, what else do we need to know about the twin flames out there? A new opportunity. So your person definitely is saying, I want a new opportunity, um, a second chance at love. I, I really messed up in the past. I caused a lot of damage and hurt, but I want to do things over. Insights gained from a new experience, job, a partner. So it feels like you taught your person a lot. This relationship, okay, before the breakup, before the separation, you taught this person a lot, whether you know this or not. And there's something about gaining new knowledge, um, new knowledge on how to love, how to uh, receive love, how to give love. And now they're willing to put into work, okay? Action that helps achieve a goal, building the path for success. So your person's like, I want to now put into work. What do I need to do? How should I show up? How, what do you want me to say? Tell me what I need to do. Tell me what I need to say. Your person is willing to put in the work because they see value in the relationship. They see that this is something they want. They want to hold on to. They want to keep. And so work is needed. Strength. And so it's going to require a lot of strength, right? We have the powerless energy. So your person could be overcoming a lot of power control issues. This is someone that wants to use their physical strength, emotional strength, uh, spiritual strength to overcome something. It says determination, perseverance, and self-discovery. 
So your person really is looking at themselves and they're saying to my, to themselves, like, I can do this. I'm strong enough. And maybe it's mind over matter, right? right? Maybe it literally is your person tricking themselves saying, I can do it and I will do it. And they're going to prove, you know, that they can. And so it feels like your person really is tapping into their higher self. They're learning about themselves and they're discovering that if they can literally tell themselves they can do it, they certainly can achieve it. Okay. We have communication. So yeah, there definitely could be some kind of opening up the lines of communication, receive and express the truth. So your person wants to communicate. And again, that's why maybe we have that friendship card here. There could be some communication or initiation of communication dialogue where you guys can finally like express yourself. Talk about something that may have happened where maybe there was a misunderstanding, okay? There's some kind of truth coming out. And maybe your person's been holding this back for some time. But now your person's like, I need to talk. I need to tell you how I'm feeling. I need to communicate my needs. And be open to change. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. So your person's like, I want to... I want to grow. I want to mature. I want to learn how to love. I'm now open to accepting love in my life. Maybe in the past, I pushed it away. I was afraid. I was scared. But now I'm ready. And so there's big, big change happening for your person because they're growing up. They're maturing. They're learning lessons. And your person's like, I don't want to go back to who I was in the past. That's not me. And that's not who I want to be because you deserve the better version of me. Right? So let's get the unspoken love messages to finish off this reading. It says... I have not given up on you, even though it may seem like it. So rest assured, your person isn't done. I may give you that cold shoulder. I may act like I don't care. I may not call you, right? But rest assured, I still do care, okay? Even if I'm not showing it right now. And it says, I wish I could have loved you the way you deserve to be loved. So your person sees that you deserve it all. You deserve real love. You deserve someone who cares about you, who treats you like the empress. And they couldn't do that. And that is something that they regret and they have guilt for. I am damaged and not deserving of love. So your person could have a lot of insecurity issues, self-esteem issues. They could have been damaged from a past relationship, okay? Maybe something from the past, something broke their heart, a relationship, and it feels like they're forever damaged. They're having to pick up the pieces. They're having to um, slowly emotionally open up and be vulnerable, and that's not easy for them. I carry guilt for the way I mistreated you. So there's that guilt for how they, what they did, things they could have said, the way they behaved. Um, for them turning their back on you, abandoning you, there's a lot of guilt and I'm feeling emotionally void without you. So your person feels incomplete. They feel alone. They miss your love, right? There's no love, um, no better love than your love. And so there's the energy of feeling emotionally um, drained, confused, right? And just unhappy because they know that your love was complete and was whole. And that is something they miss the most. So that is for my twins out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware when I drop these readings. All right, you guys, take care.